Hey everyone, it's TravelG1981 here, and as you see, I am back now at home. Yes, the tapestry, the glaring uh, recessed lights, the, um, the you know, the background photos as well, uh, and my dark circles. Uh, apparently, if you've not watched my videos as of recently, it's much different at the hotel and at my house. Or is it the same? Anyways... Today is pretty awesome. I got to hang out with one of my friends I've been wanting to hang out with for a long time. Don't mean to talk fast, but you know how uh, for most of you YouTubers out there, or if you've seen the YouTube video, we're limited to a certain amount of time for our videos. So to get right to the point, I was like, hey, what do you want to do? I got to pick up mail. And thankfully, the postal office is next door to one of my favorite spots to get Ban Mi. And Ban Mi is Vietnamese sandwiches. Now, of course, I had some boba milk tea and I had half a sandwich. And I was like, I need to save the other half for all of you because I'm not sure if I've done a Ban Mi review. Now, I'll list the address down below in my uh, information for those who live in Southern California in the San Fernando Valley. This is for you guys. Uh, for all of you who uh, want to find something better than a chain, like Lee Sandwiches, there's these mom and pops places, and they have the best bun me ever. Now, bun me is a sandwich, just like Subway, except they don't make it in front of you, but everything is fresh. The bun is fresh, it's crispy, um, and you know you pay the same price, but you get more ingredients, and it's an Asian style flavor. Now, Vietnamese, the bun mi sandwiches, they use the French baguettes. So that's lots of culture of the French culture goes into the Vietnamese cooking, especially the bun mi sandwiches. This is what it looks like. Now, this is a lemongrass chicken bun mi. Um, and uh, it's really good. It has, uh, let's see if I can open it with everything falling down apart. Whoop, yep, it's already falling. Uh, we've got, uh, this is a lemongrass chicken bun me. I have jalapenos. Let's see if I can hold it here. Jalapenos. Cucumber. Chicken. Barbecue chicken with lemongrass uh, sauce. Um, I think it's a cilantro or parsley. Probably parsley. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, mayo. Um, that's about it. Uh, I think some vinegar as well. I think all these really good ingredients just fall, fall off. Now, when I had it, it was crispy. Still a little bit crispy, I guess, because I, but it's been soaking up because, uh, I, I went, I went to drive home and I did not have a webcam on my GoPro, uh, near me to do a review. So I thought I'd do a review here for all of y'all. So this is Bunny. Spelled as B A N H <coughs> dash M I, and I have some. I had water to uh, complement it, and also to you know push all down my throat. Uh, that didn't really sound uh, that amusing, or it sounded weird. Anyway, so this is about me. This is half of it. It comes usually in a foot long. Um, what's nice about this is that. When you go to Subway, you, you know, they ask you if you want to toast it. You don't have to toast it here. It's already fresh and crispy and ready to ready to go and eat. So let's go. I'm just going to eat it. Mm. Now, if you don't like spicy, you don't need jalapenos, but... I'm not big on spicy myself. My my tongue is already burning, but it does contribute to the flavor of the sandwich. Mmm, very good. Mm. I've been having this for a long time. They've done very. Excuse me. They have different variations. The lemongrass chicken is the much more healthy one. The vegetarian one as well. But when I get a bun me, we need a sandwich. I tend to go for the lemongrass chicken. 
More or less because I like chicken and it's more healthier in my opinion. Oh, that's spicy. I've seen people do these chili pepper uh, uh, dares and how can I do it if I can't even survive a jalapeno? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Really good. The flavor of the lemongrass chicken is very, not too sweet, but has that kick to it. Especially, like I said, jalapeno. And it, it goes away. And you can always substitute, go flexible, but substituting, um, Vegetables, meats, whatever. If you ever have had banh mi, leave a comment below. Tell me what kind of flavors have you had. Maybe if I come across a banh mi sandwich place and it has that flavor, I'll try it out. Mmm. The lemongrass chicken banh mi is definitely a keeper, a winner. You never go wrong with that. So, I know a lot of people, I know it's uh, one guy, Eric Strip 6, he has a rating scale of how is it good. Well, let's just say you've got to try Vietnamese sandwiches. If you're not already, you better do so because it is it is just trying a different aspect of culture because uh, it's the French culture and the Vietnamese culture uh, tied together. You're having a bit of a little French, a little bit of Vietnamese tied together because you have the French baguette and you have the Vietnamese uh, ingredients. Really good, very spicy. I love the jalapenos right now. It's nothing now. I'm not even drinking any water. Probably later. Um, so it's really good. Uh, lemongrass chicken bun me. Uh, I paid about five ninety five, um, and you know, I'm full. I know, surprising, right? But sometimes it's not all about quality. I mean, quantity. It's all about quality. My bad. So that's why sometimes when I have sushi, I you like know, if we go to like. A uh, place that has, you know, limited sushi, but the quality is really good, I'm satisfied. A note to all you big people out there, like me, you know, you know who you are. You love the all-you-can-eat stuff. So, that is my review. Check it out by me. I'll list the address right down below. Check them out. Um, I guess if, you know, if you do go, you can always mention my tr my channel, and that's how I, how you got referred to their restaurant. All right, I'm just giving them mad props because I was I've been there since the first day they opened, and you know it's it's a nice place to go. I don't go that often because you know work and relocation stuff permits me to go, but it's always good to try a Vietnamese sandwich. This is Travel G 1981 here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Like my videos, check out my other videos. This will definitely go into the Vietnamese playlist because I know there's tons of Vietnamese stuff that I do want to try. And, um, yeah, hopefully everyone has a good rest of your night. Peace.